Hi, it's Dr. Lee Plowman, optometrist. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today we're going to hear from a respected, well-known ophthalmologist, Dr. Peter Pham. And we'll hear about his journey into becoming an eye specialist and what led him to use Okra for eye care, particularly for someone with irritated, gritty, itchy, red, watery eyes. I, I hope you'll really enjoy this interview. All the links to the products that we mentioned will be in the description underneath this video. So let's, let's dive into it. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I'm, I'm thrilled to be with Dr. Peter Pham. Um, Dr. Pham is an ophthalmologist in Houston and he's also a, the founder of Zocular. So thanks so much for joining yeah. us, Dr. Pham. Thank you, Lee. Pleasure to be here. Hi, awesome. everyone. <laughs> um, Dr. Pham, could you tell us um, what, is, what is blepharitis? So blepharitis is literally like the itis sounds. Itis just means there's inflammation um, or excess secretion um, and bacterial load on the lash margin uh, along the lids there, both the upper and lower generally. And what are some of the symptoms of blepharitis? So with blepharitis there, it's mainly the irritation symptoms, right? You're gonna, it's gonna feel gritty, it can get red, um, it can water, and then if you leave it alone and don't treat it, then that whole clinical situation gets worse and worse, and then it starts affecting your cornea, your vision starts to go down, you start having photophobia and night issues and all that. Patients often tell me that I wash my eyelids every day. I, right. use a, I use a towel or a washer or what. Why do I still have blepharitis? Right. So, you know, the eye is well protected from our hands, actually. Unless you have the right technique and the right products, it's really difficult to clean that lash margin there. Because if you think about it, when you're washing your hand, it's going over your brow area and then, and then it's going across your cheeks the eye is still protected and nothing's actually touching it most of the time. Right, yeah, so it's not getting that cleansing that exactly. we think it is. Creating okra, how, how did you come, come across okra? Yeah, so it started with just me and my wife having dry eyes that, you know, it's really hard to treat with the available options at the time that I started this whole journey here. And I was literally just eating okra at the dinner table and I'm a chemist by training as well. And I said to myself, you know, there's a lot of potential in the polysaccharide um, of okra in order to address the underlying cause of dry eye. And so that's how we got, got started. Tell me about, I believe your receptionist was one of the first to try okra. Right, yeah, so we made a bunch of formulations. Most of them didn't work that well, but one of them we tried on our receptionist at the office there. She came back and said, oh, this dermatitis, this little skin lesion there on, on the forehead, completely improve almost 100% the next day. And that basically told us that, hey, this is the formulation that we want to use. Tell me about the, the Zocular system. How does that work for seeing the doctor for a treatment and right. also home treatments as well? Yeah, so we have a complete line of treatment for the, any doctor's office that you visit there. So we have an at-home and in office. The in office treatment is, is able to basically improve almost any clinical condition that you're experiencing there. And you can talk to your doctor about your blepharitis, your uh, styes, you know, and all of the things that are causing you a lot of discomfort there. With that zest procedure, which takes about five to seven minutes, there's no pain involved, and it's almost guaranteed that you're going to feel at least 50% or more uh, improved afterwards within 20 minutes there. And then most of the things that we're coming to the doctors for are actually chronic issues, right? And so you really can't just say, oh, I'm feeling so much better, I'm gonna stop whatever I'm doing and call it a day. So even after you get better with the zest in the office, you wanna have you know, ask your doctor uh, what you need to do at home to maintain that therapeutic effect, right? Mm -hmm. It's like going to the dental office, getting a, a teeth cleaning, Right? You don't stop brushing your teeth afterwards because we all know that there's this dynamic process of bacteria eating away our teeth that we got to brush away every uh, day. Definitely. Yeah. We need to keep that home treatment going yes. to maintain what the, the doctor's done. Exactly. And you're about to re in introduce a new product um, yes, yes. For, the, for the lashes. Right. So we're coming out what we call Zaki Lash. It's a, uh, 
a lash growth serum right, to help improve the, the growth of the, your lashes. And you know, since it has the Zocular platform as the underlying technology, it also helps with the Demodex on top of it, which is unlike any other lash product out there. Because now we all know that Demodex really uh, kills off the health uh, of the lashes, right? It makes the lash shorter and thinner. Now we have that whole anti-demodex effect on top of having the pro lash peptides uh, in our Zaki lash product. Awesome, and it doesn't contain castor oil or prostaglandin. It doesn't analogs. contain any uh, any of those uh, ingredients there. No, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Pham, um, for for coming on and, and talking to us about your journey and Zocular. Yeah, thank you, Lee. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Please like and share this video with a friend or someone who might be interested and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next video.